Egypt, you know a, a word, the, the first word, the first meaning that comes to your mind when you say Egypt is a landmass in, in Africa. So for you to say that it doesn't mean this, it means something else. I would say the onus is on you to explain. Um, even Egypt in Islam, in Arabic language, it starts from, Egypt, from Jordan. It's not the geographic now today. Okay. And, uh, so I, as a black man, as a Kush man, yeah. I, don't, I don't call myself a Yahudi or Jew. I am a Kush. I'm from from um, River Nile, from, uh, from Egypt to Somalia. We all race of Kush. Yeah. We got nothing to do with the Yahud. Okay. So go to go to Exodus 13 verse 3. If you don't mind, it'd be easy if you do it. If you, if you don't mind. So Exodus 13 verse 3. My lunch. My lunch. Who's the... Yeah, but it comes from the Torah. No, no, no. no. True, 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 true. But the Jews, I know that uh, Uganda, and Congo, Congo yeah. all those Congo, yeah. the Nile yeah, yeah. yeah. But River Nile, wait, wait a second. River Nile is says, River Nile in Sudan. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in Egypt, which you came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yeah? Why? So, so Egypt means the house of bondage. So we were in Egypt before the first time in bondage, right? So when God says He's going to bring us into Egypt again, this time, but this time by way of ships, not walking anymore, because from Canaan to Egypt, back then you to walking because they're all Africa, all Africa. The Egypt was Africa, land of Canaan is also Africa. You might think it is not what it is. But when he said he's going to take us again into Egypt again with ships, we are the only people that has gone in bandage again with ships that on any record, on any given record, you can Google, you can ask your friend, you can ask anyone. We, we got taken over into, into all the other nations with ships. So if you, if you know of any time, why do you So you guys, you know you're a very rude old man. You're a very rude old man. Then just, I'm not being rude to you, but uh, I'm asking you. You can rude. You will be rude. When you tell somebody they're rude, think that you're rude I'm trying to ask you how you are. Yeah. Yeah. I said curse means like our bondage, like what we're gonna go to, what my ancestors. When I wake up at in the morning, I still get I still feel sad, you know? But your claim is you don't even understand. When someone going to bandage, yeah? Are you saying that the people who are slaves? He's trying to claim your bondage. Bondage? Yeah. Israelite bondage. That's what he's talking about. Sorry. What, what was the reference you get? It was 13, 13, 3. 13, 3. Yes. So he says, he says, And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. For by strength of hand the Lord brought you out of this place. There shall not... Sorry, sir. It's, maybe when we finish, then you can talk. It'll be easier. Okay then. No, we're only human. We can only talk. How could Egypt mean bondage for Moses? Moses himself was an Egyptian. Moses is an Egyptian. Sorry, sir. No, no. Sir. No, no. Sir, you don't mind. Let, let us finish and then you can carry on. Sorry. So that's why when you go back to. Um, Sorry, if, if we just stay here one moment. See, from what I understand, Moses. So what we un what we understand, Moses was the children of Israel were in slavery in Egypt. So when when Moses is saying, "Remember this day, which he came out from Egypt." So from what we know, 
they came out through the Red Sea. But and he's they telling came the people Egypt. to remember this day. Yeah, yeah, remember. Yeah. So he's saying remember this day. I understand, I understand. Yeah. So remember is a is a is a action and, Yeah, and it says and then and then it's in the, it says comma, yeah. which is not really a full stop but a pause. And it okay. says it's like it's like I'm telling you, leave London because they're stabbing people in London. No, no, look, look. <laughs> the, the thing I understand, look, when it says Egypt, mm. out of the hand of out of the house of bondage, this what I understand from the. You can correct me, but what I understand from the English language is saying that the children of Israel they came out from slavery, bondage under Pharaoh. They came out from Egypt. That, that time, that place, Egypt for them, was the land of bondage. Yes. But that doesn't now mean any place where people are taken into bondage, we can now call it Egypt. Oh, no, we're not no, saying no. That. So Egypt is, is still the same landmass. Yeah. So when the curse says, uh, to the point that I will, I will take you in ships yeah. back to Egypt, that's what I don't understand because I understand what happened to the the black people was completely wrong, oppression, etc. But to say that they're the children of Israel because they were taken in ships. No, no, no. It's, there's many different. No, no, no. But where they, where they come together, like for example, if if God has given ten descriptions, someone can't fulfill nine of them and say, well, the tenth one, I put it to the side. They have to fulfill all ten. So one of the conditions is that the people, they have to, these people who God is talking about who are being cursed. They have to fulfill the last condition, which was they are taken in ships to the landmass of Egypt. Not that Egypt now means anywhere where the, for example, because slavery has has happened all, in all time. But we can't. For example, for example, in Mauritania now, slavery still exists. But now we can't say that Mauritania is called Egypt because it's a, because it's a land of bondage. Remember, this you, you, old Bible, you, you see my point? Yeah, I do, I do get your point. Remember, this Bible yeah. speaks only of the Israelites. Okay. From Genesis to Revelation, uh -huh. it speaks of the children of Israel, right? Okay. Everything. Every, only time the Bible doesn't speak of the children of Israel is if someone come up against the children. Around them. Connect, connect yeah. to it. Yeah. So, okay. the, so the, the, the other nation wouldn't get mentioned unless they come up against the children of Israel. Uh -huh. That's why everyone that, that's written this Bible is an Israelite. Because they're giving their account. Yeah, um, so but, uh, there's every book inside this, this Bible that I'm uh, talking about yeah. is written by an Israelite. From from Genesis, okay. tell me one that's not an Israelite. Okay. It's not that, that's not my point. Okay, because you're stopping me no, and I'm trying to make no, a no, point. No, that you no, no, because my point is not that. I think we're moving on. My point is when it says that the people will be taken into ships, taken into to ships. Yeah, let's go there, let's go there. Back to Egypt. Let's go there. I don't, I don't see the black people from West Africa were taken in, in ships to Egypt. No, but I don't see that either. I don't see that either. So, so it, correct me if I'm wrong, what I understand you're saying is, when it says Egypt here in this verse, it's not talking about a landmass, it's talking no, about it's slavery. But I, the word to me, they are, they are taking on their first apparent meaning. You don't and, like, you don't and, like what no, no, I said. Let, let me finish, let me finish. Yeah. Unless you bring, unless you bring I'll, I'll another reason. I'll give you the verse. Okay. So, no we don't believe in Revelation. But Revelation 11 verse 8 says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Okay. And in the in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Saddam and Egypt. So Egypt yeah, we can have is a spiritual Egypt. That we're not gonna be still stuck in the same land of Egypt that the God has destroyed. God has destroyed that place. Sorry, say, say the verse again if you don't mind. Revelation 11 verse 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie, which is well on also. So, so when it says that our dead bodies will lie in the street, it means that the enemy is going to be killing us. Okay. 
and we're not going to have anyone. Like if somebody do you something now, you've got your rabbi, you've got all these escalations. I'm not Jewish, by the way. No, uh, yeah. that's, that's, that, that's good to know. No, I, I'm Muslim, anyway. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. But our dead body, which is black, which is, we, we are always dying in the street. Have you ever seen any, any one of them dying in the street? That's subjective. Though, like, no, no, I know. I know, but listen, listen, listen. That's I'm, here. I'm just talking you think, about You think only black people die in the street? Only black, only anytime you Jap see a Japanese Jewish never died. Bro. But Japanese never died in World War One. I'm, World War II. About, I'm talking about Jewish yeah. and Israelite. I'm talking about me and him in London now, presently. I'm not, I don't want to put my soap all the way up. But it's also like black sun. That's what I'm saying. Muslim. That's what I'm saying. No, they're not Muslim. Muslim. Muslim is a different type of. There's some um, religion. That, what you call it? That, that you can invite many nations under it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As an Israelite, you cannot do that. As an Israelite, you have to, you have to, your spirit has to, have to, have to um, connect with that religion. Like Ethan is a, is a, is a Israelite. I've never heard of a Caucasian person say, he's the first one that says he's an Israelite. I mean, there's Israelite, more than one. Israelite mm -hmm. is different from Jew and Jewish. When you're going to take on the nationality of an Israelite, now you're, you're treading on a different water. He said he's an Israelite. Yes. No, my point is, I think we're, we're going ahead of the point. I don't want to. No, no it's fine. My, my, my point is, that you're using the curses to define. That's all you can do. Okay, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. What I understand is that you're saying is because the black people who were taken. No, actually, when you say black people, yeah, yeah, that's to me that's racist. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And I'm telling you, I'm no, gonna no. tell you let why. Think, let me finish. I'm gonna tell no, no, you why. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Why? Why? No, no. In the beginning, before I said the word you black. You call us no, black. No, no, no. Listen, listen. When we started the conversation, I said, for want of a better word, I'm going to use the word black. Bro. That's what I'm saying, but, but, but outside of the color, outside of the color, outside of the color spectrum, outside of the color spectrum, we've got a nationality that's been hidden for a very long time. So, if you call me black, where then is my natural earthly identity? If you call me black, if you call me black, if you call me black, Maybe white is not. Go ahead, go ahead, maybe white is not. Maybe white is not. You know, in the beginning. White is not. In the beginning. In the beginning no, but these are two colors. No. But come no. on, colors. No, when, I, when I first asked the question, I said, for want of a better word. Because I don't know, some people, they might identify with that word, some people, they don't. And I, I understand that. So, but the point is, the people you are saying are the children of Israel. It's uh, the lost people. And you're using the curses to identify them. Okay, all right. Let, let me finish something. You're, uh, you're using the curses to identify them. But I said, when you read through the curses, I can understand why the people who were taken in the transatlantic slave trade would, would recognize themselves or consider themselves from those people until you come to the last one. For me, the last one doesn't fit. Well, for me, what your, what, yeah. for me, your opinion yeah. doesn't really matter unless you're going to show me an alternative. So, you see what I'm trying to say? I you can't take me from somewhere yeah. and put me somewhere into another box I know nothing of. No problem, no so problem. So, if you have a dispute yeah. with, with, this, with what is written, yeah. tell me an alternative so that I can go and think uh, about it. I, I would say that's not, the, that's not the condition here, because the condition is, if you are, identi if you are ident identifying yourself, as those people, I'm asking you, how do you fulfill that last condition that you're going to be taken in ships and returned back to Egypt? No, I'm not going to be Egypt. taken in ships. This oh, the, 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 the people, the people. This is, this is, this, your, this your, is your forefathers. Correct. Your forefathers. 
Do you know how it's written? Do you know what tense it's written in? Do you know what tense? No, no, no I don't want him to say. No, no problem, no problem. I just no want No problem, sir. Because he's defending something that is very clearly written. I'm not defending so, anything. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, asking, saying, I'm asking you to prove your claim. says, and the Lord shall bring. Yeah. But 48, 48 um, says, 48 says, therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies. Yes. Yeah? Which, when you're a slave, you serve enemies, right? Yes. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Yes. In hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, yes. and in want of all things, and in nakedness. Okay. And he says, and he shall put a yoke of iron. Yeah. We're talking about slavery now. When you put yoke, I understand. Iron. I understand. I'm with you. I'm with this you. is the same. Yeah. This is the same chapter. I, so, I, I know. I'm leading up to the okay, sixth. No so this is 48. It says, it says the enemy shall put a yoke of iron around my ancestor's neck yeah. until he has destroyed thee, which is. Once they put a yoke of iron around my ancestors' neck, that means shit rose down hill, right? That means yes, yes. the children of my ancestors and the children 400 years of weekend, 400 years of slavery, my ancestors. I'm not asking you, this is a fact. 80, Trinidad, Jamaica was, was, was ravished. And these are only, I'm only speaking about certain parts of the Caribbean, right? We had yokes. In America, we had yokes of iron around the world. But then it says how he's gonna how is this gonna happen? Yeah. He says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again yeah. by way of ships. Yeah. Ships meaning who traveled these countries with in enslaved with ships. Uh -huh. It wasn't the Jewish man. It was the Israelites. It was the black people. That they we call people call us ignorantly black. But we're not black. Black is just a colour like a jacket. But even even to call him a Jew, that's a nationality they're building, they're creating nationality for themselves. Because now they come out of the colour bracket and they're saying they're Jew. So now he's he's a he's a sovereign because he's got nationality. But as a black person, I can't go nowhere and say I'm a black man, I need this. I'm a black man, I need that. So everyone that you see identify themselves as black today, they're Israelites. And every man and woman and every every white man that identifies himself as white is Edom. Edomites. So you got Israelites, so Jacob had two sons, right? One is no, um, so Isaac had two sons. Was it Jacob? Isaac, isn't it? Isaac had two sons. Yeah. Isaac had Jacob, Jacob and Esau. Yeah, so Jacob and Esau. So Isaac, Jacob had a twin brother. He's called Esau. One came out red. Yeah, yeah, I got my One came out red. Which is Isa. In your current, they call Jesus Isa. But let's play with words, and we know. We know. It, people in the West, we know. But Isa and Jacob are twin brothers by Rebecca and, and, um, and I. What's his name? Rebecca Isaac. and Isaiah, right? Isaac, yeah. Yeah, that, but that's not my point. Yeah. My, my point is still, I don't see how. Um, your claim has been fulfilled in the last I'm condition. I'm not claiming anything. There is claiming. I'm not claiming anything. What are you doing then? I know who I am. But that's still a claim. I'm I, not I, I, and the, the evidence you brought, I don't see it fulfills it. You know what? You know, you see God. Yeah. God, you know, you see God, you see God. Yeah. God is not, a uh, God doesn't have Alzheimer's. God, has, God, God knows his children are. Yeah. God is not sick. God yeah. is not dumb. If no, he's, no doubt, if he's no the doubt. true, if he's the true yeah. Israelite, yeah. then the judgments and the curses will act upon him. 
one hundred percent. I agree with you, but my point is, I don't see that the last one has to fill on you're yourself. Not, you don't even know where the conversation is going, and you don't know where it's going. No, 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 no. no. You, your opinion is fine. I can say I don't agree with your opinion. No problem. Day. No problem. That's fine. Matter. That's fine. That's your fine. opinion doesn't matter to me. Uh, that's fine. Perfectly fine. But I just came with a question. I know. Was that and I the... answered your question. Well, you said you can't see all the ship and yeah. going into Egypt again. Because yeah. again means that you've been, you've done it before. Yeah. And you're going to do it again. Mm. So if we know what happened the first time. Yeah. So the second time is us now that's living, me and you live in flesh now, yeah. is going to be witness to what has passed. Because uh, we only know about the present time now. We can't know about the future to come. Uh, 100%. Right? So, 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 just on, so you're saying that verse 68 yes. is referring to a future event? No, I refer that uh, we've already, we, we are already in the land of the spirit. This man, he, he understands because we're in no. the land of our captivity now. Is this, is this Egypt? Spiritually. No. Spiritually. When does it say spiritually in the text? I just showed you. No. When, when it said it in Revelations, it said it was talking about a spiritual Egypt. But when it said it in Deuteronomy, it didn't say spiritual. So, okay, so... so that, that's my so point. You, so you reckon that the Israelis, that's in Israel now, you reckon that they're, they're going to have an enemy mm -hmm. that's going to take them away from Israel in ships? No. So that, that, what are you saying then? That's not my point. My point is I'm not I'm not affirming this person is Israel. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. This, that's what I'm, this mm. this is what you're the, you're, you I came you, you, came, you yeah. came you came you came and you you came you came and you dive you you, you 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 took the guy away that I was having a conversation with. Now he left. No 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 no, no. he didn't leave. No. When he I, came, I asked you permission. I asked can I ask you a question and you said yes. Yeah. And then I said you, yes. You but said then yes. You, come, you, you could have said you could have said no. All right. Can I ask you something from the current? Oh, one minute. One minute. Yeah, yeah, I'll ask you. No, no, let me, let me, let me finish. Uh, you, you're just, you're just upset. You're just upset. No, I'm not upset at all. I'm not upset at all. You shouldn't use this type of argument. You're upset. No, the, no, the point is, no, because, because I don't, you I keep don't, telling me you don't agree with something, but you don't give me a solution. No, 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 no. My, bro, you're, 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 you're smoother than butter, bro. You're smoother than butter. Know, really, I'm a, look, look, speak to me like a man. We, we have a discussion. No, you're not. You shouldn't go to the uh, insults. Where's the insult? You're smoother than butter. So where's the insult to that? Well, well, from what I understand, you're trying to say that someone has a slippery way of talking. Me, I'm saying... No, butter my, is not slippery. It's smooth. My, my point is... My, my point is... No, my point is... I don't think we're going to... We can leave this one, but I, my point is... No, but why leave something that okay. I already give you the answer because and you telling me you, you don't believe it doesn't make because it any better without giving me a solution? It's not a solution. You haven't, you haven't fulfilled that condition. Why you say that? I've already told you. Because it says that they'll be taken in ships and returned to Egypt. And Egypt is a landmass. I, mean, I, I don't see the Egypt. Whenever there's a place of bondage, we can call that place Egypt. That's that's my point. That's fine. So that's fine. No problem. That's fine. So you don't see the curses fit. So you think the curses fit the brother that was here? I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay, that's fine. No problem. But what I want to know because I've been studying the Quran and I I, I was thinking of switching faith, mm -hmm. but then I realized in. Surah 33 Al Hazab. Okay, yeah. Do you know? Um, he says. Limited. You could, yeah. He says. Mention, O Muhammad, when we took from the prophets their covenant, and from you, and from Noah, and from Abraham, and from Moses, and Jesus, the son of Mary, we took from them a solemn covenant. Okay. So, who is the them? You can read it in your language. And uh, I want to know who is them. Because, uh, this, is, this, is, this is like the day. The Israelites. Speak that louder, man. The Israelites. Okay. 
The Israelites. Okay, I, I I'll tell you what, what I understand. Okay. So then, it hasn't been identified. Okay. So no, 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 no. It says when we took from the prophets. Okay. Their covenant from you and Noah, we know not. Okay. Okay. You said they weren't identified. You're lying again. No, no, no. I'll, I'll come to it. So Noah yeah. and Abraham yeah. and Moses and Isa according to you which is okay. Jesus okay. the son of Mary okay. and we took from them a solemn covenant you know what solemn means? holy okay. we took from them explain okay. me I'm very limited in this. now he's limited no, no. now he's limited okay. now you're limited I tell you it's smooth okay, as butter okay listen, listen. smooth no. as butter I'll tell you I'll tell you. you can bring some awesome. Nothing so, is wrong. So what, why does that verse tip, tip the balance? Because, I'll, I'll, because the balance is... Excuse me, excuse me. Can I tell you something? Yes. What I know, in the Arabic language, when you have a pronoun, so for example, he, she, them, I, us, the general rule is the pronoun will refer to the last thing being mentioned. Okay? So... If someone said, um, for example, where is Muhammad? And then I say, he went to the shop. The black one or the white? Uh, regardless. Because I know the black Muhammad. Okay, but that's a separate point. No, it's not, because okay. there's two different Muhammads. We, we'll, say, we'll say John. Someone asked, where is John? And I said, he went to the shop. The he here, the pronoun, would, would refer to John. Does that's, that make sense? In this context. So, so when it's so yeah, uh, in uh, this context, does uh, it make sense? I, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. So when it says them, the them would re would refer to those who have been mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Which were those? Which would be the five five messengers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he said that we took. Yeah. We. Who is the we? Allah. Allah. So he says we took from the prophet from yeah so i'm taking the phone from you okay their covenant mm -hmm. which we know our covenant there's there's a covenant god made a covenant with with um with noah okay. abraham moses and jesus and these covenants were all in different stages according to the bible which there was a covenant when the last covenant that he made with Christ, with, he says that he's going to put his spirit in us in the last days. And we will be um, waking up in the land of our captivity. That's prophecy as well, because we're now waking up. Remember, in slavery, we weren't allowed to even read the Bible. We weren't allowed to even speak to the white man's wife. We weren't even allowed, we would get lynched. But now in this present time, 2020, we are waking up in this country. We're reading, we're understanding, we're taking back our book from the white man. So any, any white person you see preaching from the Bible, no, I ask him, in the Bible, where, how do you identify yourself in the Bible? White Christians, wherever. How do you identify? They can't say they're Israelites, you know? So they, they're no identity. No. The Quran, yeah. we know that the Israelites are Allah's favorite servants. He says it. He says it in a particular time, in a particular place. So, and we cause the people who had oppressed to inherit the eastern regions of the land and the western ones which we had blessed and the good word. That is decree of your Lord was fulfilled for the children of Israel yes. because of what they patiently endured yeah. and we destroyed he thought he, he says that the, the, the Muslim are his enemy and the white man and the Romans okay. that's what he says and I said but you're a white man no he said Christian he didn't say Muslim he didn't say Muslim he didn't say Muslim, he didn't say Muslim. bro he can probably add us there anyway so, the children of Israel when we save you from the people of Pharaoh, that's yeah. Egypt. So, we, so the Quran is actually corresponding with the Bible. 
in places, yes. Yes, in places. So he says that when we saved you from the people of Pharaoh, we were afflicting you with the worst torment. Who were afflicting you with the worst torment? 100%, yes. So that's why it's called bondage, house of bondage. Not that it's literally called house of bondage, but what the Israelites endured was bondage. So it's called house of bondage. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, so that's why I said Egypt means house of bondage to us. Killing your sons and keeping your woman alive. In that was a great trail from us. And even in the site, in the, in the in Joseph and the Egyptians, we came to help the Ishmaelites as well. Do you know that scripture? We, we came and we, Joseph and the Egyptians, when Joseph was in bondage, yeah. when Joseph was reigning in Egypt, he came with army and he helped the Ishmaelites. Okay. In the Quran, there's many places where uh, Allah he mentioned what Quran. Let me put this. Let me put this in my body. No. Okay. Are you with me? You 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 need to be honest and of identify. Course. No one, no one no no one identify who the Israelites are. Yeah. And you know why? Because of Psalm 60. Psalms, are, we, are we on this point or this Psalms point? 83. No, because I'm saying there's yeah. a lot of hip. But what was your point about this to them? You didn't answer my point. I, I, I said what was your a pronoun. A pronoun refers to the last thing being mentioned. Let's read it again. So the, the civil covenant from the prophet. Let's, no, no, no. Yeah. That's what it says. What was, what that's, that's what it says. Yeah, that's what it says in Arabic. It says. So that's, that's what language means. You, you, the pronoun refers to the last thing mentioned. Well, what I was saying is that, what I was saying is that the, the, the books that was taken that is being mentioned in here comes from here. So he says, when we took the prophets, their covenant. So the, our covenant is written in here. So if you take our covenant, that means you need to use it. Oh, can, I, can, I, can I just say something? Sorry, sorry. Can, I, uh, can you excuse me? I'm going to go now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for your time. Sorry if I offended you in any okay, way. You Maybe we'll continue. You have not So your name? Prince. Prince. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank Respect. you very much. A nice conversation. No problem. Who is this? Who is this? Do you know who this was? Um, you can <laughs> Where's the bus? Where's the bus? Okay. 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 Okay.